Hi, how are you? It seems ages since I've seen you. Or it seems ages since I've even had a chance to read your story. But anyway, I've got a day off today, so I thought I'd make the effort and read one. Guess what day it is today? Can you tell from my earrings? Can you see? Let me move my ear a little bit closer. Can you see? Maybe you can't. That's no good, is it? Silly Granny Sarah. How about who sat behind me? Let's see. Can you see? It's Bananas. Bananas Monkey. And look. Look what he's wearing. Can you see? Yeah, that's the day. It's VE Day. 75 years and Bananas is wearing his Union Jack t-shirt and I was trying to show you my Union Jack earrings that I've got in but it's a bit hard to see perhaps. Anyway, have a guess what's a good story I've chosen today. Can you guess? Okay, here's a clue. Come on, don't be shy. Say hello to everybody. Oh, come on, don't be shy. Here we go, say hello. Oh, can you tell who that is? Have a look again. Can you see? There we go. Look. Oh, it's a beautiful caterpillar. Do you know any stories about a caterpillar? Oh, I do. Shall we read a story about you? Yeah. Okay, we will. Yeah. Where are you going to sit to listen to the story? I'm going to go on my shoulder. Can you stay there? Don't fall off. Are you holding on? Oh, you are falling off. Are you sure you're holding on? Let's try. Let's see. Is that better? I think so. Right, here it is. The Hungry pa Caterpillar. Well... The very hungry caterpillar. Here we go. So, can you remember what he eats along the way? See if you can remember. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There we go. In the light of the moon, the little egg lay on the leaf. Can you see it? You're hiding it. Move out of the way so the girls... And Ben can see, there we go, the little egg on the leaf. Oh, well, you're being a pain, Mr. Black Caterpillar. Stay there. All right? Oh, you're tickling my neck. Keep still. Right. One sunny morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Here you go. Can you see him? He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums and was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate, can you remember? What do you think it is? <gasps> Four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Five. oranges and he was still hungry still hungry on Saturday are you ready for this are you listening can you remember them all he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream one pickle one slice of Swiss cheese one slice of salami one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie. Mm. Oh, I love cherry pie with ice cream on the top. One sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. 
that night, guess what? You had stomachache, didn't you? Your tummy was killing you because you ate so much. That was a bit silly. Look, let me show you the picture. Can you see? Can you see it all? Wow, isn't that delicious? But I can see why he had tummy ache, can't you? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. I bet he did. That's what he should be eating, isn't it? Look how many nibbles he's had out of it. Can you see all the, the little nibbles he's had? Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore either. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Look. Goodness me, look how chunky he's got. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for that for more than two weeks. Well, we've got lovely cocoons around us at the minute because we've been staying in our houses for weeks and weeks and weeks at the moment. So we're nice and safe in our houses, in our cocoons. Shall we call our houses cocoons as well? We could do, couldn't we? Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon. Ooh, I'm not going to eat my house. I'll break my teeth and look like this. Look a bit like Alan then with false teeth can't bite on our brick of our houses but in his lovely cocoon it's nice and soft and he nibbled a hole in it and pushed his way out like that can you see goodness and guess what you know what happens when they come out of a cocoon can you remember <gasps> Wow, we a beautiful butterfly. Ah, uh, when are you gonna build a cocoon? When are you gonna turn into a lovely butterfly? What you need to eat some cream tea scones, and you need some fish and chips. Well, it is VE day, I suppose. We could eat some scones, and Grandad and I are gonna have fish and chips tonight. Our local pub's going to cook them for us and we're going to go and collect them. Be good, won't it? Are you going to pinch some of my chips, Mr Caterpillar? I think he might. Anyway, I like that story. See you soon. Love you. Bye.